What is up YouTube, Uncle Forty here today. We have a package from BiggInCollectibles.com. So let's dig into this and see what is in here. One envelope to another. All right. So, we have a box of Bosch. Uh, also, if you guys haven't checked out Big In Collectibles, uh, you guys can find some bundles over there that have the M.C.O. 40 toe guns. I think you guys would really like to pick up some of those. So, voila. Let's dig in to Bosch. If you guys need any Bosch related products, or Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, even Card Fight Vanguard, or Wide Shores, Buddy Fight, I believe they do it all, Force of Will, Crusaders of Lunaria, uh, check them out, you guys, you'll find quite a lot of what you're looking for over there, so, Bosch, I'm going to start on the right side here, and just slowly filter through this big mess. So all of these new packs do come with one hollow per your hollow ratios finally got doubled. So uh, dynamic power load, uh, destruction sword, dynamist, create tops, and goyo guardian. Oh, we got Buster Dragon. This is an ultra. Uh, one tuner plus one or more non tuner. Um, all monsters your opponent controls become dragon type once per turn. You now control a Buster or Buster Blader monster. Uh, you can target one Buster Blader monster. You give it twelve stun up. Once per turn, you can either place turn target one Buster Blader monster you, you control. Uh, equip it with one destruction sword monster from your graveyard. This is a quick effect. So this set's got some really cool stuff in it, uh, especially. Hmm, this is the Buster set, so you can target one Buster Blade you control. Equip this monster from your hand or field that target. When this card is equipped, your opponent cannot switch some monsters to mix it. Uh, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can switch to summon uh, this equipped card. So, okay, so there's a soft lock with this. Super Heavy Samurai Magnet. Oh yeah, Dragon's Bind. This is the other OP card that's anti-meta from this set. Uh, so, activate this card by targeting one dragon type monster you control with 2500 or less attack and defense. Now, the other player can search some more monsters with attack less than or equal to the original attack of that monster. And then, when this monster leaves the field, this card goes bye bye. New Dustbot. Quite a lot going on here. We got this Buster Blader Softlock. Um, we got Dustbot support. Um, we got some Dragon's Bind. Super Heavy General. Agion, uh, Ninja Sengetsu, Reflect Reborn when your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, and the battle phase, and special summon one tune monster, and synchro type monster from your graveyard, but their effects negated. Our super is Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Be level 7 or lower red eyes monster you control, except for Red Eyes Black Chick is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect and sends the game special summon this card from your hand in defense mode. And if you do, special summon as many of the destroyed monsters as possible uh, to the same position that were destroyed. You contribute this card. Uh, you can normal summon one red eyes monster during your main phase this turn, except for Red Eyes Black Chick in addition. So, you can only gain that effect once per turn as well. So, no stuff. These Dino Mist cards, they're kind of like the prelude to what we're getting next set. Uh, the big Megazord rank 12 guy as well. Does some pretty cool stuff. Magic Spectre Sonic, Agion, oh, another Buster Blader Sword. Uh, you can target one Buster Blader you control, clip this card from your hand so I feel. Um, and this card is equipped with trap cards that are already face up on the field, and your opponent's side field cannot activate their effects. And you can send this card to the graveyard. Monster gains a thousand attack. Oh, we got Dynaster, and then Cosmo Solar Troopers. So during either play turn, you can banish this card, special summon one level four higher Cosmo Monster from your hand, and then you can only use the effect once per turn. And then you can pay a thousand life points, target one Psychic Cosmo Monster from your graveyard, and special summon it. 
super heavy stuff, more Dino Mist. Destruction Sword slash Free Control. Fusion Monster List Buster Blader. As material, banish all monsters your opponent controls. And when this card or effect is activated, targets a Buster Blader monster you control. Except during the damage, I can banish this card from your graveyard, negate this effect, and if you destroy that card. Huh. Next pack. Forbidden Apocrypha. Perform about Bit Bite Turtle. Dynamist. Dynamist. Um. The Timebreaker Magician. And then Ogma. So if this card is an almost special one, you can set one magic spectre spell or trap card directly from your deck. I cannot activate this effect this turn. You can only use the effect of Magic Spectre Toad once per turn. And of course, this guy can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. All this Dynamis stuff. Kind of a shame because the only way to play Dynamis is like with Pepe. And even so, like that's not even good. Delta Shuttle. Shirunai. I need to mess around with Shirunai. Twilight Ninja Garden Shogun. Tribute this card by Tribute One Ninja Monster. If this card is in attack position, target two ninja monsters in your graveyard except for this guy. Uh, chain, oh yeah, change this guy to defense mode if you do special on those targets. Pendulum Storm. Destroy as many cards in each player's pendulum zone as possible. Uh, then you can destroy one spell trap card your opponent controls. Let me just take a minute to not realize that this card is not quick play. It's kind of a shame. It's Dark Doretto. I think it's a pendulum too. Perform about raincoat. Hold on, what are the stats on raincoat? Zero zero. Okay, I was about to say like, if that thing has stats, uh, Karma the Sword or the Destruction Swordsman. Super heavy samurais, Magic Spectre Sonics. Uh, the Kaiju. Okay, Master Pendulum, 1950 pop on a scale, once per turn once in the scale zone. It's a normal pendulum. Very good for the Ignister Dinosaur loop. Did I mention the Dinosaur's only super high speed rider? Zani Zebra, Twilight Ninja, um, a Ryzen Gaia. Oh, I'm just gonna take this card out really quick. So. Let's have a discussion about this card. This card is retarded good. Um, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, change all attack position monsters you control. Uh, they control the face down defense mode, and then those monsters cannot change their battle position. If you hit this on a board of five monsters, you win the game. Um, unless your opponent contribute at it. Uh, monkey board, things like that. But they get soft locked for the entire course of the game. Darkhold Regeki can out your board. Oh, Darkhold yourself, but. That's it. This card is one of the most powerful cards in the set. Next up. Alumi, Alumi Raj. Monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense equal to their level ring. Huh. So he's like 1300 himself. Mistaken accusations. Pendulum Reborn, so someone will face a Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, or a Pendulum Monster from your graveyard. And then we got, ooh, our first face-off, too. So, this card is another one of the really good cards in this set that's really underrated at the moment. Uh, so, destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, then special summon in attack position two kaiju monsters with different names, one to each side of the field, but they cannot change their battle position and must attack if able. During your main phase, except the turn the score is activated, you can banish this card from your graveyard. To add a kaiju monster from your deck to your hand. So they gave kaijus a dark hole. Um, this is another sleeper card in the format. Um, it'll be eventually good. No reason a dark hole like card with that much potential can't get good. We also got twin twisties. Uh, discard one card, target two spell trap cards on the field, and pop them. So good. Another Draco face off, too. It's our second, I believe.
perform my pals. More worse. We also got the Harma Eye Magician. Uh, once you turn during the player's turn, you can reveal a Pendulum Monster. Target one Magician card in your Pendulum card zone. Um, that targets Pendulum scale. Comes the same as the revealed monster until the end of the turn. And then, this card's Pendulum summoned to your field. Magician Pendulum Monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects during the turn that this card was Pendulum summoned. More Destruction Swords. The whole Buster Blader archetype is if someone makes a good anti-meta build for it. We could see some very interesting shenanigans. Next up. The Forbidden Akpakrithith. Super heavies. Oh, our first secret rare. We got the Dark Eclipser. So this card can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects during either the player's turn. When a top card is activated, you can banish one Cosmo card from your graveyard and negate that activation if you do destroy that card. If this card is destroyed by battle by card effect, banish this card from your graveyard, add one level 8 or lower Cosmo monster from your deck to your hand. 3,000. Much like Dink Destroyer. Next up. More instruction swords, followings, score of the Melodius. Oh, come here, take Rampage. So, Rampage, uh, it's two or more Cyber Dragon monsters. A fusion summon this card uh, can only be done with the above fusion material monsters. Um, this card is special summon. You can target a number of spell trip cards uh, on the field up to the number of fusion materials. Uh, destroy them. Once per turn, you can add up to two machine type light monsters from your deck. Alright, send it to the graveyard. And then if you do for each monster sent to the graveyard, this card gets an additional attack. It gets really beefy. Alright, on to the left side here. Alumi score followings. Um, high speed coda. And it looks like we got Gravity Dragon here. So Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Uh, you want to summon this card with Odd Eyes Advent. When this card is special summoned, you can return all spell trap cards your opponent controls to the hand. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card. And you can only use the effect of Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon once per turn. And then your opponent must pay 500 light points to activate card effects. So, 2800. Dino Mist. Dino Mist. Uh, Tomb Buster Blader. Uh, tuning Magician. Uh, if you have two or more Magician cards in your Pendulum Zone, most cards in your hand graveyard, you can special summon this card when this card leaves the field. Um, goes bye bye. And then you can only use this effect of Tuning Magician once per turn. This card is normal summoned. <laughs> your opponent gains 400 life and you take 400 damage. Like that part makes no sense. Or, get a monkey board. But hey, it's a Magician Tuner. High speed re-level. Super heavy. Oh. Buster Whelp. The Dragon the Destruction Super Sword. Yeah. So when this card is a normal specimen, you can add one Destruction Sword Monster deck to your hand. Except for this guy. You only use the effect of this turn once per turn. So you can this card, special summon one Buster Blader from your hand or graveyard. This card is in your graveyard, and you control Buster Blader. You can discard one Destruction Sword, special summon this card. So, not bad. Buster Bladers for days. Magisters, Eggion, Dynamist, Guturtle, no, the Sword Troopers. It's our first Get Turtle, actually. I want to play two Get Turtles, but I'm not quite sure yet. Still a lot to decide on. Just about 008. Oh, we got Dynamist Rex here. So, once while this card is in your Pendulum Zone, you can negate its. You can negate an effect of another Dynamist card, then destroy this card. So if this card attacks at the end of the damage step, 
Tribute one of the Dino Monsters to play one of these effects. This card can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row. And if this card attacks the defense mode, monster appears. You can shuffle one card from your opponent's hand on the side of the field into the deck, and this card gains a hundred attack. So random. Sharon Eyes. I know a lot of people want to see Sharon Eye do good, but like I don't think we can get it to work. Don't the Sharon Eye Dino miss? Oh, we got Supercell here. So Supercell. Uh, when a Magic Specter card in your Pendulum Zone, uh, the activation effects of all other cards activated on your side of the field cannot be negated. Once per turn, you can target up to five Magic Specter cards in the graveyard and shuffle them into the deck and draw a card. Such a hefty cost. I don't know when you're ever going to have five Magic Specter cards in your graveyard, but kudos to you. Could happen. Really night, more dragon swords. Oh, we got the sacred soldier. So sacred soldier, luck last us all draw. So cool. Uh, when this card is normal or special summon, you can target one of your banished light or dark monsters, and one card your opponent controls return that target to the graveyard. If you do banish that card, your opponent controls. So you send yours back to the grave and bada bing bada boom. And uh, when this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you can target one level seven or higher. Oh, excuse me, or lower. Warrior type monster in your graveyard now at your hand. Kind of cool to see more Black Luster Soul of Sport. Yo, both of these secrets I'm supposed to get I'm really down in that box. Desk Bot, high speed relevel, Zenny Zebra. More Sharon Eyes. Got a Master Pendulum again. Happy about that. Agion. Oh, cool, we got our first guiding Ariande. So, <laughs> you can apply the effect, so you, you basically don't pay the cost for counter traps. And then when this is popped by a card effect or battle, uh, reveal three counter traps to your opponent, your opponent chooses one, puts it in your hand, the rest go back into the deck. So good. Next along here, got another Retro Dragon. Perform Apollo Turtle, Dynamist, Dynamist. Oh cool, our last secret is Cosmojo. So Cosmojo, uh, you can target one Cosmo monster you control, destroy it. And if you do banish one of your opponent's cards or in their graveyard, you can only use the effect of Cosmojo once per turn. And then the last pack here. Alume score following the wins. Got another Supercell. That's cool. Alright. So we got quite a lot here. Supercell Cosmojo. Black Luster, Dino Mists or Troopers, One Welp, Odd Eyes, Antic, Dark Eclipser, Twin Twisters, Interrupted Quaking Mirror Force, one of my personal favorites in the set. And then it looks like we got Buster Dragon. This thing's what, two, four, six, seven stars? 1200, 2800. Very interesting. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out BigGameCollectibles.com for your trading card game needs, and I'm out guys, later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support, and please check out Van Cole 40 for Card Fight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.